I am so excited to inform you guys that last week I completed two more items on the summer skate bucket list. And the first one is, I finished Attack on Titan. Or Shingeki no Kyojin. I finished the anime finally. I've been watching this since I was 15 and now I'm in my early 20s, so it really just feels like I grew up with this show and I can't believe that it's finally over. Like, at least I'm pretty sure it is. It was a whirlwind of a show. There will be spoilers, I am talking about the ending, but if you don't plan on watching it, you don't care, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna rant about the ending. When I first started watching it, I did not expect it to go in the direction that it did. Like, yeah, I remember, like, clearly how I felt when I watched the first episode. I really felt shaken. I was like, oh my god, like, the whole horror of Aaron's mom getting eaten, like, it was so scary, but at the same time, I was so intrigued, and I had to continue watching it, and so I kept following the anime. I got into anime, and then I realized that, you know, personally for me, I get too invested in watching things, and then I forget to work on my own life, and so I thought maybe watching anime, watching all these shows and stuff, it's not very good for me, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop watching anime, but I need to see how Attack on Titan ends, okay? Like, I need to know. It is crazy, so I needed to finish the last two episodes, of the final season. Both of those episodes were an hour long and now it's finished and so it's a really bittersweet feeling and Aaron's character from going to we think he's the good guy to we think he's the bad guy to okay he's sort of a bad guy but he's also kind of a good guy like the amount of plot twists was crazy. It's good to see that in the end he was still kind of the same person. He was still kind of the person who wanted to protect his friends and get rid of all the titans. It was just he didn't really do it in the way that he had originally wanted to do it. Like, I'm gonna kill them all by being in the Survey Corps, and yeah. But then, obviously, we find out that he's a Titan Shifter, and then there's the whole past, present, future thing, and a lot of people were disappointed in the ending, but I was a little bit disappointed in the fact that they didn't completely destroy and kill that particle thing that makes everyone become a Titan. I wish they would have, like, at least eradicated it, but you know, they didn't, and so it's still possible for the Titan power to, you know, infect somebody, and then the whole Titan thing could happen again. So that was a little bit disappointing, but but even if they did kill it, humans would still fight, even though, like, half the population of the world was, like, gone. People would still find ways to have conflict, because that's just how humans are, and I really love how it addresses that theme, but, like, Attack on Titan addresses so many themes, and I have so many thoughts, like, I don't even know how to formulate all of them. I think it was kind of a bittersweet ending, like, it wasn't too depressing, but it wasn't, like, super happy either, so I think it was good. It was kind of satisfying, but at the same time, it kind of wasn't, with the Titan particle still being a thing. The element of the show that I really did like was the whole Ymir, founder Ymir, picking Mikasa, to be the one to set her free from her Stockholm Syndrome or whatever. I thought that was really cool because through the seasons, they build up, like, how much Mikasa likes him. And so then at the end, when she has to be the one to kill him, that's, like, really crazy. Like, do you think that she could do that? But ultimately, she did it, and Ymir was freed from her attachment to King Fritz. So... That kind of element of the story is great. Like, I love how the focus wasn't just on Aaron. I liked how, you know, because I had her thing and, you know, Levi got to kill Zeke and, you know, Armin and Annie, you got to see them. Like, I love how it wasn't just all about the main guy. It was kind of about all of them, which makes sense because the show is about you know, friendship and Aaron, you know, doing all of this to make his friends the heroes so that they could advocate for peace and so friendship is another main theme in it and so it makes sense why they wouldn't just focus on Aaron because I feel like in the first episode or like the first season when it starts off it's kind of mostly about Aaron I don't know is that just me but then like I like how the end of it it kind of focuses on all of them and like they all need to come together and they need to kill Aaron so that the plot line that he put in place works out and that's just kind of crazy like the writing of this show is crazy. If you haven't watched Attack on Titan, you should watch it. But if you're not into watching anime, then you're probably better off not going through the emotional turmoil of watching this anime, or any anime for that matter. The second item on the summer skate bucket list that I completed was I went hiking slash exploring with my family. That was one of the things I wanted to do this summer. And next is the vlog of what I did on that day and what I saw and all the views and stuff. So check it out. Next part of the video is me hiking. <laughs>
while I was out in nature, it made me think about one of Aaron's first motivations to join the Survey Corps and attack on Titan, which is to see the outside world. Armin told Aaron about all these amazing wonders of nature that they would be able to see if they left the walls. But in the last episode, Aaron says he was disappointed when he saw the outside world. But what did he mean by that? No picnic tables anywhere. So we're just building food. Not building food, building sandwiches and eating food in the car. And the back turned into a restaurant. Oh, and now you're dripping tomato juice. And I'm dripping tomato juice. Huh? We got the spread right here. <laughs> Okay guys, that whole eating in the car chaos is now over and we are making our way to the trails. So we're gonna actually hike up and see some cool views. I feel like I'm in an Isa video right now. Like, look at this. Like, doesn't this feel like an Isa video? I'm starting to understand why there's special shoes for hiking. Skate shoes aren't the best, but it's good. I feel like I'm in the Hunger Games or some. <laughs> I'll use my camcorder to film and get some cool shots of all the views with it and with this phone. So it's kind of a hike, it's kind of exploring. It's kind of both. <laughs> oh I love water, once again. Guys, I came here to see a waterfall. I really want to see a waterfall. I've never really seen one up close. Well, I hope we can find one. They say there's a bunch here, so that'll be fun. It's dirty, but it looks kind of cool over this bridge. We got forest, we got some water. There's gotta be a waterfall here somewhere. A little longer than a few minutes later. So there is no waterfall? No. It's only in spring? Yeah. It's not the season for waterfalls, guys. I mean, at least we did some exploring. We explored, just didn't find a waterfall. This is where the water is supposed to be. Right up here. It's supposed to be falling down over there. There's no water, guys, but this is where it's supposed to be. We found it, but then we didn't find it. I don't think he was disappointed in the nature out there that Armin showed him. He was kind of happy to see the sea, but I think he really couldn't enjoy seeing it as he was so distracted thinking about all the enemies he had out there. He was disappointed that there were people out there who hated them, and so the wonders of the world didn't matter as much. It made me think about how we should appreciate nature and the world and not be blinded by the bad things we see go on in the world, like racism, war, and hatred. This stems from us as humans, but humans are also capable of love and forming amazing friendships, as we see in the show. But we get so distracted by the bad things people do in the world, which of course are important to pay attention to, but it makes us also hate the world. But we don't hate the world. We hate seeing the hatred people are capable of and the actions they take because of it. Then we forget to appreciate the little things in life like nature. And Attack on Titan also addresses that topic too. What makes life worth living? Well, it's the little things like seeing a sunset or playing catch. I like to think that this world is perfect, but it is we who are imperfect. And we will continue to have conflicts no matter how much time passes. This is true whether the Titan power is used or not. Attack on Titan has so many themes and lessons in the show to think about, which is so crazy. It's not an anime with traditional tropes, though there's nothing wrong with that, but it has so many themes and issues it addresses. The whole show is a metaphor for life, and that is amazing. I probably won't watch anime anymore as I was quitting it before, but this show will forever be remembered by me, and I'm sure it will be remembered by many others.